So today is the last day that I will be with Fantasy. If you're new to my channel, Fantasy is my Indian redneck parakeet that I recently added to my flock. I quarantine any new birds as I never know if they're carrying any diseases and I want to make sure that they are healthy. And quarantine also gives me the opportunity to spend one-on-one -on -one time with them and get to know them and bond with them. So when birds go into a new home, they can be stressed from all the changes. Stress can activate viral diseases to shed if they have any, which can be passed on to other birds. So that's why it's very important to quarantine any new birds. They can shed viruses through their feces and through their dander. Some birds won't even look sick. They won't even show any symptoms at all. Whenever I add a new bird to my flock, I take them to my avian vet for their wellness examination and to get their complete blood count, which is called CBC, and viral testing, or at least the viral testing, depending on the species, has only, I believe it's 1% of their total body weight that they can be drawn at once because if they take too much blood, it's not, not ideal. So I always go for the viral testing. So I was finally able to take Fantasy to my avian veterinarian. He was tested for beak and feather disease, polyomavirus, chlamydia, and bornavirus. He also had a complete blood count as he, was, he had enough blood to give and they did a fecal on him as well. I had to wait for a few weeks for the test results as they mailed them out to the lab, which is pretty far away. But when I finally got the call, I was told, unfortunately, that fantasy was positive for the polyoma virus. Yes, yeah, so fantasy, he has a virus which can be spread to my other birds. I am so upset and shocked at the same time. I got some information from my vets about this disease and apparently the polyoma virus can be associated with severe disease and sudden death. It's commonly affects young birds, but death has been seen in mature birds and uh, young birds may die within 12 to 48 hours. Mortality rate is ranges from 25 to 100%. Transmission is through direct con contact between affected birds and can be spread on clothing, hair, skin, toys, and anything contaminated with feces or feather dust and secretions from the lungs or the bird's crop, like if the parents have that disease and they're feeding the baby birds, the baby birds are going to have it. Or if they feed another bird, um, they will get it as well. And the awful thing about this disease is there's no treatment for this disease, unfortunately. So, so I was told that if the bird is positive, has an adult, it should be retested in four to six weeks. If it's a juvenile bird, it should be tested in 10 to 12 weeks. If positive on the second test, and the bird is considered has a, a latent carrier, a lat latent carrier, I think that's what my vet said, of the virus. So the bird will always be a carrier. If the bird is negative on the second test, it should be quarantined for four more weeks to make sure it's no longer shedding the virus. The test is done by clo cloaca swabs and blood tests. My vet said to test Fantasy again in 10 to 12 weeks as he uh, was a juvenile bird. So I had to wait you know, a long time to test him again. So I took him to the vets uh, for the second time and had to wait several weeks for the results as they do get sent out. It takes a while for them to get there and then for the vet to get the results. So I waited and waited and waited. I think it was like three weeks. So I called the clinic after three weeks as no one called me and I was told it was negative by the clinic staff. I was happy to hear that it was negative as some tests can be false positive or false negative. So I was hoping the first test was a false positive and everything you know, would be okay and I could put Fantasy with my other birds and I wouldn't have to worry about anything. So Fantasy needed a third test to make sure he wasn't shedding the virus. The test had to be done one month after the second test. So I had to wait again so I took Fantasy for a third time and waited for the results. This time it took quite a few weeks to get the results. A lot of, lot of waiting. So I finally found out the results and unfortunately it was positive again. So I talked to my vet and he said the second test showed the blood was negative but the swab was weak positive. So it's still considered positive. The receptionist saw the negative blood test and not the weak positive swab test. 
So she told me it was negative the second time and here I am hoping the third one would be negative. But she read it wrong and the vet never did call me um, to discuss the second test even though I called and called and called. So I am upset about that because I wouldn't have had to do the third test and wait weeks and weeks and weeks to find out that he's definitely positive. So my mistake was that when I got fantasy, I was told his parents were health tested for any viruses and I believed them. I never asked to see the results from their vets. I trusted them. I found out later it was a lie. So please learn from my mistakes and ask to see the vet's records of the test Never trust anyone, anyone can lie. Another mistake that I made was before his first vet visit, I did have him on my hand and brought him upstairs to see my other birds and had him sitting beside me upstairs for a few minutes. He looked so healthy and since his parents were supposedly tested for viral diseases, I believed it was a very low chance of him being sick. He went right back downstairs just to be safe. That's where he was staying this whole time. It was only a short time, so hopefully my bir other birds are okay. He wasn't, you know, near them too long. So after finding out the first time uh, that fantasy was positive, I had my other birds tested. I tested my birds in my living room, as that's where fantasy was for a short time. It was very expensive for all these tests. I spent hundreds of dollars. They were all negative though. I was so relieved, I was so relieved they're all negative. My vet told me that fantasy has to get out of my house. The faster, the better. I can't take a chance on this disease as it can spread to my other birds. It's either find him a home with other positive birds or he has to be the only bird. The other option is euthanasia, which I don't want. So fantasy is considered um, a Latin carrier, or is it Latin? I'm not sure of that correct word, but he's a carrier but he can lead a normal life. I posted him on a Facebook page that I am on and I got a few inquiries which I was so happy about as I thought no one would be interested in him. A few homes uh, were not ideal for him as some people already had birds they didn't understand that he had a viral disease which I mentioned in my ad but that's okay at least they asked and um, but I had to find a home with someone with no birds or someone who had a bird with his a virus so a few homes you know they were not ideal but i did find one that has no birds with bird experience and that's where he's going he's going there today so i just want to mention that when you get a new bird please quarantine your bird and take your bird to the avian vets for viral testing and fecal testing you want to want your bird to make your whole flock sick or pass away. Even if breeders test the parent birds, there is a chance that they've got new birds that were not tested. There are good breeders and there are bad breeders. There are bird flippers out there that buy birds for cheap and resell them. Or they advertise that they can provide a good home for your birds only to sell them again. They have birds coming and going on a daily or weekly basis. I see them advertised on Kijiji classifieds in my area. Diseases can spread very quickly with these types of bird buyers and sellers. Even pet stores, some pet or bird stores have several birds. Each bird or group of birds come from several breeders. They're coming from, you know, over there, over there, over there. They all congregate together. And if one has an illness, they can possibly all get sick or all have the virus. Some pet stores or bird stores don't ask the breeders if their aviary is tested for viral diseases they just buy without asking questions just to make a buck. They are constantly taking in birds unaware if they have any diseases. Some die and they don't even do necropsies to see why they died. Only reputable bird stores will ask for proof of testing but even then they have no idea if the breeder just took in a new breeding pair. Each bird needs to be tested. Now there are ethical breeders they will quarantine and test the birds before breeding them and putting them near the rest of their flock. They're the best kind of breeders. I will have to test my flock after Fantasy goes to his no new home to be safe. I have to retest them. Each test is around $200 or I can do group testing which will be cheaper. If I tested each individual bird it would cost me way over $6,000. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Uh, 
so I'm so glad I quarantined them and kept them, you know, separate. Um, I can group test my birds in my living room to do like group tests and I can group test my birds in my bird room. Otherwise it will cost me like so much money. Like I said, over $6,000 for individual tests if I did each birds because I have a lot of birds. So please be careful if you get a new bird and if you have other birds, it can affect your whole flock. And now I waited such a long time to get a new ring neck. As you know, when, if you're regular to my channel, you know I had one before named Rio. It took me a while to get a new one and, and look what happened. Well, it's time to bring Fantasy to his new home. But I love you, Fantasy. All right, Fantasy. Undo your little claws. Oh, it's okay. I know, I know, I know. I have to put you in the box to keep warm and safe, okay? I love you. Go ahead. Right, there goes fantasy. If I fantasy, love you. Um, I will on. definitely send you videos and yes, please do. I'm, I'm so uh, you know worried about them, but I know you're gonna take care of them. And thank you so much for taking them in. And I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs>